Here's how to find Safari downloads on your iPhone. Now, if you downloaded something from Safari and you wanted to find it, maybe you want to open it up, you wanted to delete it, share it, whatever, I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's open up Safari here, and I just have an example. I typed in sample MP4 video download. And at the very top, I'm just going to tap on this link to walk you through an example. So here's a little video. If I hit this download button, you can see it pops up with, do you want to download this MP4? I can hit either view or let's hit download. Now there are a couple different things. One is at the bottom left, you can see the little blue arrow pointing down. I can tap on that and then tap on downloads. It will pop up with any of your recent downloads on Safari. You can either just tap on it to watch it, or you can tap on that little search icon and it will open up that file in your files app. But if you don't necessarily see that, maybe that's been removed, maybe it's a while ago that you downloaded this file, I'm gonna show you how to find that. So let's hop out of here. And the key thing here is you'll want to use the files app on your iPhone. If you don't already have that app, just go to the app store and download it. It's a free Apple app, but I'm just going to go to my library here and you can just type in files. Now open it up and you might see a screen like this, or you might be in your iCloud drive. Just go back and tap on, on my iPhone. So go in there and then you can see there will be a downloads folder in there. Just tap on it and there is that sample MP4, the image or the video that I downloaded. This is the same thing for, here's a little video. This is the same thing for any PDFs that you downloaded, images, whatever it may be. Anything that you downloaded from Safari will default to this location. Of course, you can just tap and hold on it and you can hit the you know share icon, delete it, you can compress it change the name, any of a bunch of different options here that you have to do with that file after you've downloaded it. Hope this helps. If you have any questions on that, leave them in the comments down below and we'll catch you on the next one.